Hello, my name is Richard Weitz. I'm Senior Fellow and Director of the Center for Political Military Analysis here at the Hudson Institute. Today, May 5th, is the third day of what will be a month-long series of meetings related to the review of the Nuclear Nonproliferation Treaty in New York. Every five years, the treaty is reviewed by all the members to figure out what needs to be done to strengthen it and to address any problems. Uh, the U.S. administration under President Obama has laid out a strategy for what they'd like to see in strengthening the treaty in all three of its main pillars. Uh, that is peaceful cooperation in nuclear energy, disarmament, and nonproliferation. In terms of the peaceful cooperation clause, uh, the administration is trying to increase funding for those co developing countries that want to use nuclear technologies for medicine, civilian nuclear power, uh, for mining and other, and other uh, features. Uh, the condition is they have to be meeting their nonproliferation requirements and do it in a safe and secure manner. In terms of disarmament, the administration is going to point to some of the achievements of the President Obama during the past year. That would be the Prague speech in which he affirmed support for uh, eliminating nuclear weapons, the New START treaty with, that was signed with Russia, uh, and, and other efforts to try and show U.S. commitment to disarmament. But most important for the administration is the nonproliferation commitment. As part of the bargain, those countries that have nuclear weapons agree to give them up, but countries that don't have them agree not to take measures to try and acquire them. And here we've run into two problems, though that being namely Iran and North Korea. Iran, uh, there's concern that under the guise of pursuing civilian nuclear energy, it's actually developing the capacity to develop nuclear weapons. And in the case of North Korea, uh, the, they actually have tested a nuclear device. They cheated on their commitments under the Nonproliferation Treaty and then withdrew when they were caught. So the administration is trying to tighten up rules about how you deal with violators, make them sign on to additional commitments, the, the additional protocol which allows the International Atomic Energy Agency to conduct more inspections uh, and other features to strengthen that. Uh, so I think that that's where we're going to see a lot of interesting dynamics over the, the next month. As we saw during the opening day speeches last, uh, on Monday, there's going to be a lot of tension between Iran and the United States in this regard. But so far, it looks like most of the delegates are siding with the U.S., at least most of those who spoke cited particular concerns about Iran's behavior. Uh, so this is something which I think we all should be paying attention to and hope makes further progress as we go forward. Thank you.